So this is supposedly the place where some hot stuff has been dropped. Let's check it out. And once again you can hear the plentiful clicks of the Geiger counter. So we have dose rates of 10 to 20 microsievert per hour in this area. There's some collapsed building over there. Apparently somebody is pointing at something. What's that? Oh, horse. Yeah, that's a footprint of a wild horse. Oh, dung beetles. Dung beetles and horses shit, that is. Apparently this house has seen some fire at some point. I wonder if that was put there deliberately, or if it was just mother nature, like lightning. But I guess it doesn't matter too much for now, because all we know that this radiation is definitely coming from a man-made source. And that was a mosquito, a radioactive mosquito of the zone. Uh, plastic anzüge, plastic anzüge, oh. plastic schürzen, yeah. die man bei der Arbeit mit ganz heißen Geschichten anziehen muss. Also quasi direkt vom AKW, noch aus der Unfallzeit. Die hat man hier gerade gut zur Hand einfach mal so abgeladen. Okay. Cool, das muss ich gleich nochmal auf Englisch sagen. So buried here are some kind of protective suits that were apparently used and just dumped here. And you can see if we get closer, those rate increase, increases greatly. Did you see that little ant? Extract a piece and see if it's hot. Hang on. Eigentlich muss ich mal die Nullrate finden. Not too much above background. Maybe the rainwater just washed it off and into the ground. I got a little carried away here, so I did not really pay attention to the camera for a while. Uh, but I'll leave this in and just comment on it. As you can see, I am looking for whatever is beneath that uh, soil, but well, the dose rate increased. But it's not all that much. Maybe we should look on. Let's go. Okay. Gas mask filters. But apparently unused because you can see the seal is still on them. So, probably not too interesting. Looks like an airplane tire. Yep, and it looks like something has hatched inside of it. That looks pretty cool. If you know what kind of species builds these things, then let me know. Thanks. There's a nice little spider on the left. You see it? Yep, just there. Artemis went into alarm mode. Gamma Scout is screaming. The usual. Yeah, yeah. There's more. That's more. Well, 750. Yeah, well, millisievert. It's over one millisievert per hour, even as of the automass, which is uh, pretty much gamma sensitive. So yeah, it's millisievert per hour. Gamma scale shows a little less. And when there's, when there's more beta, the gamma scale actually shows a higher value, usually. But now the gamma scale's reading is lower than that of the automass. So that must be a lot of gammas coming from there. Curious, maybe there's an unusual isotope hiding in there. Who knows? Well, of course there is. Why would I be saying that otherwise? Um, currently you can see me putting on a glove, actually, because uh, I suspect that the entire soil here might be highly contaminated. 1.21 millisievert per hour. Yeah, that's probably the hottest spot. Oh, it was not a single point there. source as before. We could easily make out it's a point source just with the uh, fuel fragment, for example. But here it seems to be uniform contamination, so hence why I suspect that it might be the entire soil, and 
A little bit of radiation doesn't do too much. I don't want this particular soil under my fingernails, I guess. Whatever that is. So anyway, you can see that I'm trying to locate a particular area, maybe a particular something that has been buried. Try and measure the soil next. But let's see. Oh, yeah, that's hot. You can hear that. You can hear the cones going up on the other counter. There's something blue beneath it. Oh yeah, it's, it must be some kind of waste bag. So there's a blue bag. Some kind of blue material here. Well, I guess I'm at concrete or some kind of metal. Yeah, there's something here. Kyle. Time to rescue the squealing decimeters here, so they don't get too contaminated. I guess just everything is contaminated. What's that? No shoe? Hang on. But nope, the shoe no. is nothing. Well, that was interesting, I guess. But it seems to be a larger contamination over there. Seems like not only they dumped the truck load, but they dumped the entire truck with whatever kind of fucking waste they unloaded here. Wherever that stuff is coming from. So what do we do? Well, let's go away. Go somewhere else. But not without taking a sample, of course. Which we can put on the germanium detector that is inside this lead castle to shield it from background. And that's the real-time gamma spectrum as it comes up. There's a 662 keV, that's the usual cesium-137 peak, which is uh, common and expected because that is a fission product and, well, the normal contamination in Chernobyl. That's for you in logarithmic scale. Oh, what can we see there? There are two more peaks to the right. Hmm. So that is season 137, and those two are cobalt-60. Cobalt-60 is not a fission product. It does not uh, occur when uranium atoms are split within nuclear reactors. It is actually an activation product that happens by uh, neutron capture of non-radioactive cobalt. So it was either parts of the reactor or stuff that has been deliberately activated, but dumped here and... Uh, I've never actually seen that before. I've never seen Cobalt-60 in any location in Chernobyl from any of the samples I took. This is the sole site, the one and only single site, where I saw uh, Cobalt-60, the isotope Cobalt-60, in the soil. It has uh, a 1172 and 1332 keV gamma energies. Those are the two gamma peaks that you will see from Cobalt-60. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. As I said, it's, it's not a fission product. It was either parts from the reactor or something that was deliberately activated within the reactor during some research experiments, and uh, the stuff has just been dropped here. So, it's, it's not something that has just occurred during the explosion. It's something that was taken there deliberately, so they created a random junkyard within the middle of the forest. Very interesting. Let's see what we can find next.